Hey jeez, welcome back to my Butchy the Rock reactions. We're gonna be watching episode 3 and last time, first of all I just wanna say I have a cold and it's getting worse and worse by the day. I don't know what's happening, but uh, taking some medicine for it now. Anyways, last time, Butchy is taking her first steps towards um more uh, towards the towards outside of her introvertness. She's moving away from her, from her being uh, a loner, so it's great. And uh, Kiri, Kijira, I keep forgetting her name. I'm gonna look it up right now. But uh, blonde haired girl and Ryo are there to support her, and it's great because uh, she has some really good friends. And now we just need a vocalist, which I assume is the, the red haired girl. Nijika, not Nijiki, Nijika. I think I can remember that. Ryo and Nijika, okay. Um. See, there was no performance that episode, there was only uh, her going to a job, which is also in Starry, and it's gonna... She did decent. <laughs> I'd say she did better than I thought she would. <laughs> and uh, the manager is great, I think she realized that uh, Bochi is the freaking guitar hero, THE guitar hero. So, that's the thing. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's fun slice of life stuff right now. I don't know what else to analyze at this moment. So, it's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. And it's just neat. No, snort. <clears throat> a picture and picture version which you can find in the description below. And a timer beast version which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your own music to the timer beast version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown. It's gonna count down from 5 because that's what they do. And a 0 is the same for my video starts playing on my screen. Let's do this. Timer will go here. Okay, I'll mute that. This is the Bochi household, Goto, yeah it is. No? Goto, right? Hitori Goto. Mm. <laughs> Brushing the auge. Oh yeah, she got a cold, I forgot. That too, definitely. You... Same Bochi, same. <laughs> They don't think about <laughs> Wow, that's harsh. Never mind. What? <laughs> I wonder how harsh that was in Japanese. Because that was harsh in the, in the subtitles. Mateo. You're moving forward? Oh god, yes. Thank you. No, you're, you, know, you haven't. You haven't. I don't... Please let it be the red-haired girl. Yeah, putting the... <laughs> Good! Good on you to realize that! Oh, you know them! <laughs> oh, look at them! They're being so sweet! I know that feel. I used to feel that way. <laughs> oh, what are you eating? I talked about this in uh, water water reactions, but I, I did I did this in uh, elementary to middle school. <laughs> no, Bochi, it's okay. They're nice people. <laughs> It's kind of cold today as well, not just the fact that I have a cold. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> Ooh, that was a cool transition. Oh, she's the red one. And of course, it's the guitar again. She, she looks taller here, so she's older. I know that feel. Is it them again? Hey, Kita, is that the red haired girl? That's. That's a bit complicated for you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to push yourself this hard. So, show me Kita. Yeah, it is her! I think. 
I'm pretty sure. She looks so sweet. <laughs> Kawaii. Agreed. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Uh, I am a flea! <laughs> oh, that's a cool shot. Oh, that is really cool. Hey, opening! That was a long ass uh, intro bit. Okay. I just re I realized as I was editing uh, the last episode, yes, I already saw the opening in episode 1. <laughs> If you're watching this on a PAP, please check out the YouTube channel. It would really help out if you can watch the discussions there or just watch the videos there. Uh, leave a like there, subscribe there. That's where all uh, what I need. That, that's where I need the subs. <laughs> Not really ambitious. And Mega doesn't have that. Thank you to the Patreon team for the beginning. And if you want to throw me a dollar or three, you get early access and all that stuff. I don't want to put up a paywall, so just early access, I guess. I don't have that many. This is a really fun show. It's so well produced. <laughs> it's like Cloverbricks, right? Cloverbricks has been killing it for a while now. <sighs> I'm pretty sure it's Cloverbricks. I forgot. And there's some people that worked on uh, Wonder Egg Priority, which even though Wonder Egg Priority's ending is awful, it's it's still it's still good for the first half. It's really good for the first half, so it's okay. And it's some really interesting production production thingies. I forgot the word. Sorry. Hmm. What is it? <laughs> oh, she noticed you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I freaking love her. That was a neat little uh, thing that they did there with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have your guitar. Double dark pass mochi acoustic version. <laughs> and she actually does it. Okay, this is, these are actually decent lyrics. You can do songwriting bits, mochi. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww, that's sweet. Hey! <laughs> ah. What a nice person. Yeah, she is the actual extrovert. It's kind of different from Kijika. Ki Aww. I'm kind of... I think you're overselling it. I don't. You're overselling it, dude. Wait, what? It was them. Didn't they say that they have a runaway? What do you mean? Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I can do. Oh. Oh, never mind, never mind. I can do better. <laughs> okay, I can do better. Never mind. 
<laughs> that, that is a very interesting character archetype, though. That is definitely a thing. <laughs> She's melting. <laughs> Oh yeah! I also I'm I have trouble with that again. <laughs> what is that called? Vogula, vo Yugula, I forgot. <laughs> what is that? What? <laughs> That's always a thing with Kijiga. Like, what the fuck is she talking about just all the time? She has a guitar! Right now, this is mostly a decoration. I, I don't play it that much. I don't know where to start again. <laughs> I'm just dragging her. <laughs> Nijika! Yeah. Kijika, I said Kijika, right? Uh, that! It is her old band. Ah! Yep! Yep! It's good! Can Bochi just play lead and <laughs> read back up, I guess? And she can sing, just just a singer, no instruments. I have a hard time singing while playing an instrument. But, oh, we can beat him up. Rio's growing on me. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Namu. I wonder if that is a joke or not, because you can never tell with her. Sorry. Need to blow. Sorry. Mm. Excuse me, as I said, cold in the intro, I have a cold. What are they gonna wear? Maid uniforms, please tell me it's me. Cultured. Because she is cultured. <laughs> Nice. Okay. I oh, Rio is also lazy. Okay, I like Rio a lot more now. <laughs> I'm starting to understand her character a bit more. She's just amazing at this. Because of her extrovertness. <laughs> I can tell. These are the kind of people I can be friends with, but uh, I'm gonna get tired of them. <laughs> not in the bad way, not, not in the, oh no, I'm gonna leave them bad, but in the... It drains my battery so much. Yes, I know that feel. Be <laughs> you fit your guitar there? The heck? This show is so wacky. Even for anime standards. <laughs> I 
Oh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, that's it. <gasps> damn, damn. She's so bright. It's glaring at me. Glaring at me? I don't know. Oh, it's overflowing. Please forgive my arrogance. I mean... Does she have calluses? She's practicing guitar? Hmm. My moves are... yeah. <laughs> Aww. Your revision. Your revision. Your revision is on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's badass. Oh, it's actual Yuri. Never. Okay. We don't even need Yuri Vision. <laughs> she is badass. I cannot lie. I just don't get her character that much yet. <laughs> oh, interesting. Why did she drop out? Extroversion. I want to keep saying extrovertness. Extroversion, that's the word. Hmm. Mm. I like her. What is your name? Kari? Tari? <laughs> Kita san. Okay, Kita. Kita. No, you you could get a second chance. What's she thinking? Say something, Pochi. Okay. It's got a summer dish. Dish, this. This soup. Oh! <laughs> Hilarious. Anyways. <laughs> yep, you did. I Is she crying? She practicing, wasn't she? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just I guess. <laughs> Aww.
<laughs> I was yawning while laughing. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Bungie t shirt! You're really good! There we go. Nice! Aww. It's holding back tears. Oh, she's blushing. This is so sweet! I'm, I'm not crying, I'm yawning. <laughs> <laughs> Does everyone have an Ahoga in this in this band? <laughs> the voice actor for voice voice actors for Bo Bochi is really amazing. Hey, their faces are great. They're completely different art style. Yeah, <laughs> just melting again. Oh, what is it? What are you playing? Oh, <laughs> oh, that makes sense actually. <laughs> okay, that was great. <laughs> oh my no! <laughs> really? No! Uh, there's nothing else to do. Aww. Rio plays guitar as well. Rio's multi talented, gotcha. <laughs> I get the feeling that was a joke. Pretty sure Rio's kind of rich. Was she the one that is kind of rich? Oh, the F chord! Fucking F chord! I hated learning the F chord. The first time you have to do a bar chord? Yeah. <laughs> Why the? <though? laughs> it's gonna be. This is gonna have a short discussion. Uh, we're gonna talk about Rio and Kita's uh, characters. I turned red. I need to. There we go. I'm not as uh, bad as Bochi now, but definitely during school, when I was still going to school, I was definitely that bad. Maybe up until 9th, 10th grade, that kind of, around that time, where uh, I became a little more extroverted. More like ambivert. Ambiverted. Because I'm only loud. Not loud, but uh, I'm only extroverted uh, when I'm with very select people. <laughs> Or when I'm by myself, I that that's kind of part of why I why the videos are like this is because uh I start thinking all over the place whenever I'm alone, and I'm recording this whenever I'm alone, so my brain just goes all over the place. It's also the reason why sometimes I just have no order of things, <laughs> where I go from one thing to the other and back to that thing and another. Uh,
<sighs> okay. It's all about this episode. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, Kita. Kita, right? That's her name, right? I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I was gonna make sure. So, Ryo. Nijika. And Kita, I believe. Ryo. Ryo. Nijika. Kita. Kita. Uh, I don't know what Kita is. Never, never heard of an anime character named Kita. So, okay. I like that these two characters right here are super sweet and wholesome. Also just so happen to be friends with Kita. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. The overthinking about what people think of you is probably one of the most uh, prominent, like constant. It's always there. It's, a, it's probably the symptom of anxiety that is literally always there that you can't stop thinking about. As someone who, don't, who had social anxiety and someone who still has general anxiety disorder, even though it's not as bad, um, it's always constant, it's always there. And uh, it's, it's really horrifying at some points. Uh, I, don't, I get the feeling she's mostly social anxiety instead of actual anxiety disorders. So, it's still an anxiety disorder when you think about it, but still, it's not as bad as as, uh, as me not being able to go downstairs for a few months like that, like that kind of, it, it was that bad for me for a while. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, people thinking about you is probably the most horrifying thing to think about. But another thing that is that is usually common with people that has social anxiety is the is uh, the imaginativeness of it. Like Bochi immediately thinks of her in Potokan in the first episode, and here immediately thinks of her in an interview talking about how she's sur she's passed through so much just to get here. And uh, I've thought about those things before. Like it's 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 kind of it's it's kind of one with the package because. I don't know. Part of, part of the fact that you think that other people are thinking bad of you or that something bad is going to happen all the time is the is the fact that you have a very active imagination. So it's not always negative, but uh, a lot of the times you would just kind of be hit with the reality that it's never really it's never really going to happen. Not right now, at least. Like they, she can have a dream of getting to Budoka, and that's for sure. But there's also the fact that she has to take steps toward it, and her imagination directly goes directly to Budokan, so yeah. I like the slightly older Bochi here. Like, she's slightly taller here. I don't know if that's intentional or if that is a mistake in the drawing. <laughs> um, Bochi melting this episode is probably one of my favorite gags right now. Um, I love it when anime does that, especially like the cutesy anime, whenever they do that. Um, uh, one of my favorite anime, probably up there at the top three, I think is a girl's last tour and there's a gif that went around the internet for a long time it's, I still look at it every now and then but it's uh, there's a very s close similarity to how they did the melting of Pochi here in this scene in this very specific scene <laughs> it's very similar so yeah <laughs> Kita Shan's such a great singer. <laughs> I heard she played guitar before she quit. Mm. This is my okay. Also, the fact that Bochi is uh, actively trying to make herself better and try to help people around her, even though she has difficulties with uh, the more common common things. It's really sweet. I like it a lot. I, Bochi is super, super. Let's just go with that. <laughs> I don't have that many notes, but uh, this scene with uh, Ryo chewing is super cute. I don't know why. It, it's just really cute. Oh, it's not them. It's not them. Never mind. It's not the two of them. I don't think it's the two of them. Uh, Ryo chewing is cute. Um, even newbies can come and learn. Oh, they're making that. Okay. 
Reminds me of K-On! First episode. They needed the guitars. I mean, uh, in a way, Yui is kind of the the main character of K-On! Is kind of the singer. They kind of switch between two two people most of the time. It's me, you, and uh, Yui. But Yui was supposed to be the one to sing in, the, in their first like big performance, and but then she kind of destroyed her voice practicing too much. I freaking okay. I, I know I'm gonna say this literally every single episode of Bochi the Rock, but it's gonna keep reminding me of K On, and K On is like top ten anime for me because of how much I like it, not how much I think it's a good anime, but simply because of how much I like it. But yeah, love K On so. <laughs> I can't help but compare it here. Um, what was that sound? Okay, and then we go to the OP. The opening is really cute. I don't think I need to dissect the opening. I don't think there's anything in it. Oh yeah, there's also the thing where uh, she brought the guitar again and she was hoping that um, someone would talk to her, right? Like, at least she realizes that she has to be the one to start talking to someone at some point. That's gotta be a big character thing with uh, Bochi at some point, where she becomes the one that is actively trying to do something and not just waiting for someone to, to egg her on. And this is another one where someone just started talking to her. Um, she's cute. <laughs> Kida is cute. Um, As much as I relate to Bochi, um, in terms of, okay, this is gonna be weird because they're high school students, but uh, this is anime, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, but in terms of characters or just people that I find more attractive, I, they're usually the more extroverted ones. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, let me look, I wanna see the lyrics. Because this feels like an actual song. Like, is it crazy edgy and kinda kinda cringy because of how much edge it has? Yes, it is kinda edgy, but it's a uh, it's she just came out with this on the spot. And it there's like doubles in it and it's <laughs> it's there's like little hints of wordplay in the song that she just write writ she just write wrote Ugh! Fuck! She just wrote right in right here. So that's great. She should be the writer. I talked about this in episode two, I believe, where they were talking about uh, writing songs and song lyrics specifically. I talked about how the more introverted someone is, the more likely they are to be a good writer. To some extent, they probably will have very different things. I write, okay? I write short stories. I write poems. The closest thing I've ever done to publishing any of them is I. Uh, I posted two of my poems on, over on Facebook. Those are very edgy poems. I was like 15, 16 back then or 17. <laughs> so yeah, that's all there is to it. But uh, that's kind of the thing is pretty much everyone that I've met, usually, especially if they are introverted to some extent, they, they have artistic talent within them. They're not just artistic, but like a linguistic talent within them. Because, what do you know, uh, the people that think the most within themselves usually have the most complicated kind of way of thinking. And that's kind of what makes up good writing. <laughs> For the most part, because uh, there are some exceptions to that, like uh, something being written in a very generic manner but still having an impact. There are definitely examples of that, but we're not here to talk about that. I want to go to 3.30. There's something I want to look at. Oh, this shot! This was really neat. I don't know how they did this exactly. Is there a CG space here that they use and then Bochi is just in it? And then we go direct to Bochi. And then... Okay. And then we go to the hairpin. Where's the hairpin supposed to be? It's just cubes, right? Where's the hairpin supposed to be? Uh, that was just a really interesting shot. And then identity. Okay. Okay, Kita heard the song and was like amazed by it. Kita is the kind of person, I, I talked about this in the reaction, but I can be friends with Kita. I can see, I definitely see that happening. But uh, with, a car with a person that is like Kita, like Kita herself. But uh, 
some people just tire me out. Okay, I talked about this in episode one, but the one defining factor that you can say that you are exactly an introvert, even though there are there are many different people and different kinds of introverts. Uh, the one thing that all introverts have is a social battery that extroverts usually don't have. Uh, introverts always have a like a like a like an imaginary battery that gets drained the more they interact with people, and that's something I learned through therapy. So um. <laughs> Therapy. So um, yeah, I have that, and uh, whenever when I would be hanging out with someone like Kita, I think I'll get tired after like 15 minutes, <laughs> like physically and mentally exhausted. Uh, to people that are, to people that don't uh, have a social battery, that's how it feels like you're just mentally and physically exhausted. <laughs> Bochi melting. I love it. Anyways. Um, I love the running gag that uh, Nijika just receives a text from Bochi and she just goes, what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Rio. Okay, let's talk about Rio. I guess. Uh, I said in the last episode that she's my least favorite right now. I don't know yet. Uh, she might still be my least favorite but uh, but a lot closer to, to me. I like her a lot more now. Uh, so she's kind of rich, she's kind of lazy, and she's very talented. Uh, there are people like that. <laughs> Just people that are born, like born winners. And I like that we have a character like that here. Um, yeah. Uh, Kita and Nijika. Mm, I, two, two very different extroverts. Um, I don't know. It's, I don't know, I don't know. Never mind, never mind. But they are very different. <laughs> uh, okay, Starry. I can't go there. And Nijika's here. And Rio, oh wow. I just realized why she started looking at Rio like that. That's really cute. Okay, Yuri Vision on. Is that Monster Energy Drink? Monster Hamagi. Wow. <laughs> Off brand Monster Energy Drink. Okay. I think my favorite thing about Rio is that she just drops sarcasm bar sarcasm with with really good sarcasm. Like she doesn't she she doesn't phase whenever she's saying uh, like a flat out lie. <laughs> like I pray for you every day. <laughs> I'm gonna eat weeds from now on. <laughs> it's just great. Uh, I can definitely imagine a person being someone like Rio, and uh, I can definitely imagine her being popular with the girls. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely imagine that. Oh, what's interesting about Rio is that uh, she apparently left the band before. Uh, I don't, oh, fuck. There we go. She apparently left the band before. I don't know what's up with that. Creative differences, maybe? Okay. I think Rio is a lot more developed now in this, in this episode. And that's the thing with Slice of Life is that uh, Characters get developed, but not to the, to an insane level. Like uh, again, Kaon, you can see Yui's growth throughout the show, but it's but it's so s small, and but it's so like yay, they did it, <laughs> because it's just oh, they're kids and they're being cute and they're growing up and that's all there is to it. Is that Koke Rock? Is that a, is that a chicken on a microphone? Kali Kali Oishi, okay. Echo. Is there anything like uh, uh, No, I don't. I don't know what they're trying to. Maybe there's like a Easter egg there. Girls, I believe you are like sixteen or seventeen. Trust me, don't drink Monster. <laughs> don't, not yet. Like uh, I don't think your your jobs are. Um, Heavy enough to start drinking monster. <laughs> it just destroys your body, <laughs> and uh, it tastes good though. I I'm more of a Red Bull fan myself, even though Red Bull tastes like piss. I, I like the taste of uh, Red Bull piss. <laughs> I haven't been using it much though, as well. You know, uh, doctors were the, some of my doctor was like, stop that. <laughs> So uh, we kind of got into a conversation where, okay, at least you can drink some coffee, 
But uh, no more energy drinks. <laughs> the energy drinks fucked me up so badly. Uh, uh, still, the manager is super cute. Best girl manager. Uh, the manager just again reminds me of Kaon because she just has a maid uniform. That's a that's a gag in Kaon. The uh, the teacher the. the the club advisor always has costumes ready, and one of her favorite go-to costumes is maid uniforms. So yeah. I like this little shot here. <laughs> Illustration by Aki Amaji. And we got the little shout out to whoever drew it. That's great. <laughs> yeah, this, this is something that anime does, right? Like at the very end of the, of the show, they just show something like this. Uh, I like the little hint that she has calluses. I immediately get it, guessed it though. I thought we needed Yuri Vision for this. No, no, no. Everyone's gonna ship them. It's okay. We don't. We don't need to actively ship them because the show will do it for us, and it's great. <laughs> what is Bochi's hairpin? I still don't know. Does everyone have an Aoge? Uh, Ryo Haim, not really, looks more like bed hair than Aoge. She doesn't have an Aoge, okay. So it's Bochi and Nijiga, okay. Bochi achieved freaking uh, Dojiko title. She is now also a Dojiko. But uh, okay, uh, what else? You've been practicing. So someone just had to open up your guitar and say, This is not a, an actual electric guitar, this is a bass. Six string bass. I've never seen a six string bass. I don't think so. No, I've been through music stores. I've probably seen them but just thought because I didn't touch them because I wasn't looking for them. Uh, I just thought, oh, maybe it's just a different kind of guitar. <laughs> I probably was a Kati at some point because of that. Okay. This is an off-brand guitar, by the way. It's just I got this for like oh, how much do I compare this? How much would that be? Fifty bucks? No, no, no like twenty. Twenty? Twenty? No. Yeah, twenty-five bucks. <laughs> so it's cheap. And uh, the thing that you connect the wires to to an amplifier is actually broken already after like two months of playing it. <laughs> so yeah, it's now entirely acoustic. Anyways, uh, she actually gave you a guitar. Was it established that she's rich? Or am I just crazy? I'm pretty sure it's established that she's rich at some point. And she eats weed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's just messing with everyone, but uh, it's great. Um, okay, so this episode introduced Kati. She's learning guitar. I like her a lot. She is quite determined to... And I like the very different approach to her character uh, arc where the reason why she wants to join the band is because she has a crush on Ryo and uh, this episode was also the moment I realized that Ryo is pro is really good I, I like her as a character now a lot a lot more I used to like her but as the least I like her the least now she's up there she's even with the uh, she's even with Kati <laughs> which is great because uh, they're shipped together <laughs> anyways <laughs> This is a good episode. I don't know what else to say. Uh, do I have any more notes? I don't even. I didn't even fill the entire note, no, the entire page. Um, you can't read that because I have my camera switched, like flipped. I don't know. It's just a lot easier to look at the proper, to look at the, to look at the camera properly this way. So yeah. Um, what else? I think that's it for me for now. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion a week earlier than everyone else, you can do that with the Patreon link below. It would really help out if you don't have to, but if you can, please do. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff, and bye!